Hello everyone and welcome to PA Academy. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to draw a polygon when you are given the length of the diagonal. So if you are given if you are asked to construct a, uh, a polygon, maybe this principle works for any polygon and you are not given the length of the sides, just the length of the diagonal. So this is what I'm talking about and in this video we are going to be using pentagon as an example. Don't forget like I said earlier, this principle works for just any polygon. So Using a, a pentagon with five sides as an example, so we have a polygon that of five sides looks like this. So this is just a freehand sketch, it's not something perfect, but this is how a polygon looks like. So and you are told that you should construct a polygon and the diagonal. That means let's say from this point, the line to this point is only the only thing you are giving should be 10 centimeter. From this point also will be 10 centimeter. So you can see we are only giving the length of the diagonal. We are not giving the length of the sides. We don't know the length here. We don't know the length here. So how do we go about constructing something like this? So that's what I'm going to be sharing with you in this video. So if you are here to subscribe to PA Academy, please click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. And let the little bell icon beside the subscribe button. So the first thing you are going to do is to draw a straight line. So, let's call this is line A, B. So on the line, we should just note a particular point on the line. So let me just take this point. So let me call this point, point O. So the next thing is we pick our, our compass at a convenient radius. Don't forget, we are only giving the length of the diagonal. So at a convenient uh, radius, we draw a semicircle. from point O. So now this semicircle, we are going to be dividing it into five equal parts because we want to, what we are constructing now is a pentagon. So, so if you are constructing a uh, regular polygon with seven sides, then this semicircle, you are going to divide it into seven equal parts. So this, like I said, this principle works for any polygon. Where you are giving the length of the diagonal, you are not giving the length of the sides. So now, since we are working with a pentagon, that's five sides. So we are going to divide it. That will be 180 divided by 5. So that will give us 36. So the interval is going to be 36. So we are going to be having marking it at point 36 degrees, 72 degrees, 108 degrees, 144 degrees. So I'm adding 36. So once I put in my protractor, so I can easily mark those points. So this is 36, then 72, 108, and 144. So the next thing is to note those points on the semicircle. So this is one, two, three, four, and five. So now from, so what I'm going to do now is from this point O, so from point two, three, and four, I'm going to draw a line from point O to pass through those points. Okay, so I don't know if I mentioned, so for this pentagon that we are constructing now, the length of the diagonal, let's say the length of the diagonal that we are giving is 10 centimeters. So that's what we are working with. 
with a diagonal of 10 centimeters. So I haven't done that. The next thing is on this, let's pick just two. Let's that's point. on this three. Let's measure our 10 centimeter. So on the line that passed from zero to that passed through point three. So this is where our 10 centimeter will be. So this is where our 10 centimeter will be. So now we pick our compass. So now we want to bisect. So let's call this point C, D, point C and D. So we want to bisect O, C and O, D. So to bisect it, I will measure 10 centimeter. So their point of intersection, I'll join them together. So we'll do the same thing to line OD. So their point of intersection of these two bisectors, where they both intersect, let me call this E. Now, this represents the center of the polygon that we are going to be, be constructing. So what you do is you pick your compass, so you place it from this point E to point O. So from point E to point O. We are going to draw a circle. So here I have my circle. And now we are as good as done. So what we are going to do is that, now we have this circle that we've just drawn is touching this line AB. It's touching it at this point. So, so let's call this point, point F. And then it's also touching this line that passed through points two. It's touching it let's, at this point. Let's call it point G. So now let's join these points together. So point OF. And then from F to C. So this is that uh, the line that we drew, the diagonal, that we measured at 10 centimeter. You can see when we draw the circle, it's touching the circle. So that would be the so that's the another uh, the other side. So we'll join into the next diagonal. And then we'll join into this diagonal. So so you can see we already have our pentagon. Where, where we are only giving the length of the diagonal. So that means the length from here to here is 10 centimeters. That's the only thing that we are giving, the length of the diagonal, 10 centimeters. So this principle, like I said, works for just any polygon, any polygon where you are giving the length of the diagonal. So this is how you go about it. So I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, kindly click uh, on the like button to like the video, to share this video. Uh, if you are here to subscribe to PA Academy, kindly click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. So you can also check uh, the playlist on technical drawing for more 
uh, videos if you want to know more about technical drawings and different drawings and things like that so kindly check the playlist on technical drawing if you have any questions or any comments kindly leave them in the comment section below and i'll see you all in another video thank you